Good morning, Key Sage 2. This is your Tuesday Science Week video. So we are going to have loads of fun today. We are going to make our own cheese. Exciting. So, first of all, we have a bit of a story that we need to read. So listen carefully. So Cosmic and Gem are having a picnic. How lovely. Um, they are tucking into glasses of cool milk and tasty cheese sandwiches. Isn't it amazing that they can turn a white runny liquid into cheese? Cosmic wonders out loud. Gem stops chewing and looks at the cheese and then at her milk. She has a puzzled look on her face. How do they do that? asks Gem. It's fascinating. We need to do some investigating. I think a little a little bit of chemistry might help. So our challenge today is to help Cosmic and Gem find out how milk is turned into cheese and to do that we are going to make cheese. Exciting. So the first thing we need to do is you need to get yourself a cup and pop some milk in. Now um, I'm using cow's milk but if you are allergic to cow's milk I would use your alternative that you usually use. Okay here we go. I'm going to do a nice big glass. Obviously make sure you don't use all of your family's milk because they'll probably be cross with you. And just so it's easier for you guys to see I'm going to pour it into this clear jug um, so we can see everything going on on camera but you guys can keep it in the mug so now I'm going to pop this in the microwave okay lovely children we're back my milk is nice and warm I put it in the microwave for probably about four minutes um, but make sure that your adult knows what you're doing and watch your milk all the time because you don't want it to bubble over and get milk everywhere um, you can also heat it up over your hob um, in a saucepan, but I just thought a microwave was a bit easier. So hope you might find the same. So can you see there's lots of steam coming off and there was big bubbles because it was boiling. Um, so I'm just going to give that a little stir. Perfect, move that bottle that way so you can see a bit clearer. Right, now this is the fun bit. So basically we need to make it curdle, um, which means it kind of separates like the fatty bits from the liquids. So I've got lemon juice, but you can also use vinegar. So pick which one's your favorite. But as it's just been pancake day, I'm sure we've all got bottles of lemon juice lying around. So I'm just gonna put in a couple of drops at a time. Give that a stir. Not much has happened yet. Let's pop in a couple more drops. Oh, that was quite a big bit. Let's give that a stir. Does it look like much is happening? Not yet. Another couple of drops. Might give it a bit of a squeeze this time. Oh, I think it's starting to happen, children. Doesn't look very tasty at the moment. Bit, a little bit more. Oh yeah, can you see at the edge there? starting to look a little bit strange oh yes that's what we want can you see that lumpy horribleness delish so it doesn't actually smell that bad at the moment there we go let's just put a little bit more lemon juice in just for the fun make sure it's definitely curdled so can you see oh yeah Maybe if we lift it up, can you see this like kind of cl almost clear liquid with like kind of big chunks on the inside? Lovely. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is great. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sieve it. So you need a, a kind of clean cloth. Pop that on the inside of the sieve. Okay, pop that in. I've always wanted to do this, children. It's very exciting for me. Now I'm just going to pop my laptop out of the way. That's why I don't want to get in trouble with Mrs. Pemberton for spilling cheese on my laptop. Right now, I'm just going to pour a little bit in. So we have separated it into the curds, which is this kind of cheesy stuff, and the whey, which is the watery stuff. So I'm tipping it in quite slowly. Now this is still quite warm, children, so just be really careful that you don't burn yourself. 
especially if you're doing it with a younger brother or sister. Look at that. Wow. Okay, now we lift this up. There we go. There's our way. Lovely. So you can probably pop that down the sink when you're ready with that. Now, be really careful so this isn't hot so you don't burn yourself. Just give that a bit of a squeeze. You might want to let it cool down a little bit before you do this. Okay. There we go. So get all that liquid out. Can you see it coming out there? Right, perfect. Now I'm going to get myself a little plate to show you. Go stay there looking at that cheese. Here we go. Moment of truth. Right, we're going to turn this out onto this plate and hopefully we'll have a delicious looking chunk of cheese. There we go. There's our cheese. It looks a bit like mozzarella, like you get on a pizza. So let's chop it open. Wow, there we go. We've done it. Good job. Right, so now I would not recommend eating that. I'm not sure how tasty it will be. Um, and yeah, I will see you tomorrow for our next science video.